This is a legislative explainer <clears throat> on the three readings of a bill. California's constitution requires a bill to be read three times before it can be debated and voted upon by either house of the legislature. A reading of a bill in the assembly or Senate is defined as being the presentation of the bill before the house by reading the bill's number, author, and title. Each time the bill is read, these provisions are read aloud on the floor by the reading clerk in either the Senate or the assembly. Now, there is a misconception that these three constitutionally required readings of bills are the same, but in fact, each is done for a different purpose. <clears throat> Note also that the three readings requirement can and is occasionally suspended. It requires a two-thirds vote in either house pursuant to the state constitution. So let's go through the three readings. The first reading of the bill takes place when it is actually introduced in either house. The bill is placed across the desk of the Assembly or the Senate, which is the official act of introducing a bill in the legislature. In the Assembly, the chief clerk or his or her deputy at the Assembly desk receives the me measure. In the Senate, the secretary of the Senate or his or her designee takes the bill. The bill is then given a bill number upon introduction. Once a bill passes over to the other house for consideration, it is simply read for the first time. Introduced bills are noticed in the Assembly Daily File or the Senate Daily File, but there is no first reading portion of either Daily File. No floor analysis is prepared of the introduced bill either. For the second reading of a bill, it takes place after the bill has been reported out of committee, either the policy and or the fiscal committee to the floor of either house. The process occurs whether the bill has been amended or not. Also, a bill can be on second reading several times, such as when the bill has been reported out of the policy committee, and then again after being reported out of the fiscal committee. There is a second reading portion in both the Assembly and Senate daily files. This portion lists by file number and assigned to each bill once it has been listed in the daily file. Each bill that's been reported out of committee to the floor the general rule is that a bill remains on the second reading file for one day before moving to the third reading file. No floor analysis is prepared for the second reading file bills. Finally, there's the third reading. The third reading of the bill takes place when the bill is about to be taken up for consideration, that is presentation, debate, and ultimately a vote on either the assembly floor or the Senate floor. There is a third reading portion in both the assembly and Senate daily files. And this portion lists by file number again, each bill that's eligible to be taken up for a final vote on either floor. A third reading analysis is prepared for bills eligible for consideration on either, the, uh, either of the floors. And this analysis of the bill generally provides an explanation of existing law, what the bill does to change existing law, any amendments, and a listing generally of supporters or opponents, although this does not occur on the assembly floor analysis.